pivoting with chisel. First, you download the files, the chisel files, the server, client, and for Linux version. You make your attacking machine a web server so you can copy the files from it. You create a chisel server. You remote into the victim server. You already have, assuming you already have a foothold and credentials on the server. On the victim server, you copy the files, the, the chisel client, from the attacking machine. You run it. When you run it, you create a tunnel on port 1080 between the attacking machine and the victim server. You leave this tunnel running. Now you have to create another tunnel through this tunnel to the second server. You have to create, you can configure the proxy chain. So you have to add a socket into the proxy chain configuration file. This file, this line, you have to add it. Then you run the chisel server, use proxy chains so you can go through this tunnel to the second victim server. On the second victim server, you're copying the chisel client from the attacking machine and run it. When you run it, you create a tunnel, a second tunnel on port 2080. Now you have to go through those two tunnels. So you leave the, this tunnel also running. Now you have to go through those tunnels to the third victim server. You have to modify again the proxy chains configuration file. So you have to add another socket. You can have two sockets running at the same time. So you have to comment the first one and add or enable the second socket. You, you start the chisel server, you remote with the proxy chains through the third victim server. You copy the chisel client from the attacking machine and run it. When you run it, you create a tunnel on port 3080 through the first two tunnels. And then you go again, you have a fourth victim server, you go again, same thing. The thing is that you can use proxy chain with two sockets. So you always have to comment one socket, enable the socket you use. So if you want to, if you want to use proxy chain, let's say to SSH, to SSH into, into the first uh, server, you have to, actually the, the second server, you have to comment the third server and you have to enable this first socket. I'm gonna put the comments into the, into the comments.